so on that approach trail. Um, stairs were pretty rough, but not nearly as rough as I, as I had anticipated. It was 600 steps, so the falls are beautiful. I got dropped off by Ron's um, shuttle service, and uh, yeah, I've been hiking with a guy named Bearded Frog, so look him up um, for a little while now. And uh, yeah, after uh, the falls, it's it's pretty pretty uh, pretty easy, gentle, easy, breezy, beautiful. That section was very easy breezy. Uh, then we started hitting some uphills. Nothing crazy, nothing too much, but there's some uphill. Uh, just went down a, a downhill that gave my you know, knees and some exercise. The temperatures dropped significantly. It is, it is uh, I'd say with the wind chill, it's probably close to 32. And uh, the wind is just, I'm sure you can hear it, it just sounds so. I got a, a couple miles left to actual <laughs> Appalachian Trail. So, yeah, it's snowing. So I just touched the first place. Um, yeah, you know, I've done 177 miles, but it's not, it's not the same to come down here to Georgia and, and start it off or continue it <laughs> as it were. So I'm pretty ecstatic right now. Um, five seconds ago, I didn't think I was very emotional, but right now I feel like I'm pretty emotional. Uh, it is cold. It is really cold. It is really windy. Um, I'm not going to linger here too much longer. I'm just waiting for um, uh, Bearded Frog to get up here. Um, I think it'd be good to, you know, get him a picture. You know, like the guys who were up here when I got here got a picture of me. So, um, you know, so far it's already been a lot about just uh, helping out a little bit. Yeah. So, um, yeah, a couple more miles to Stover where I'm staying tonight um, again small day I got opinions about the approach trail <laughs> and maybe it made it mean a little bit more to do the approach trail to hit the first place because you kind of have to backtrack to do it but uh, right now I'm, I'm happy I did it uh, 15 minutes ago I was I was like fuck this trail <laughs> anyway morning I didn't do a video last night because I felt a little weird talking to myself in my hammock I was set up pretty close to the shelter it got real cold last night I think it got down to like 20 or 19 but I stayed warm mostly so slept with my water so it didn't freeze in my electronics and my filter yeah so yesterday I did 8.8 .8 of the approach trail and then 2.8 to Stover today's goal is um, I think 12.5 or something to Gooch so, yeah, <laughs> my left knee isn't bothering me, <laughs> but my right knee is just ever so slight. There's a little, it's just, it's just like a, it's just a message, right? So, but so far the right knee is good. Back to the left. Just going to keep doing this dosey -si do with my knees. Anyway, meeting people. It's weird. I got used to sleeping alone all the time and having the shelters all my to myself, and now that's not the way it is. Anyway, 
on with it, yeah. So days 13 and 14, um, yeah, wrapping them up. I'm at the Gooch shelter. So today was 12.9, I think, 12.9 miles. Yesterday was 2.8 of the AT and then 8.8 .8 of the approach trail. Um, so um, overall, pretty good. Um, did some downhills and my knees again were sending me some messages but they were very slight very light so um, I got to this shelter real early and I did some self-care and I'm hoping that has an effect um, you know one of the things I don't think I was doing very well on my last trips the ones through you know VA, PA, MD and VW was hydration and um, electrolytes so you know, I made sure today to, um, you know, after talking to somebody, they were saying like, you know, the cramping can be from um, dehydration. So I've been trying to just sip throughout the day, you know, um, and be really mindful of that. So, so far, so good. Um, you know, it's it's really interesting just the difference of, you know, the different people coming out. I, again, this is, I haven't... <laughs> It's, it's very interesting, uh, uh, you know, just running into a lot of people. You know, there's a there's a really lively group here today, and, um, you know, there's still more people showing up. Um, and it's like, you know, spaces are running out. You know, I'm, I'm trying to come up with a game plan of when I think I might feel comfortable pushing it. Um, one of the things I'm thinking about is, you know, the timeline that I've laid out um, doesn't account for, you know, inclement weather and stuff like that. So at some point... You know, one, I want to, I want to get done and get back to, um, you know, back to my family as soon as possible for, you know, the wedding and stuff like that. But two, you know, the more I get ahead, the more, um, I don't get behind if something happens. So, um, I'm trying to come up with a game plan that sounds something like this, you know, three days in a row of no pain. And I can start adding some more miles. I got a couple 15 mile days coming up. You know, I talked to somebody today who said, you know, really in the beginning you should be doing under 10. But I have experience um, and, you know, I've been hiking. So I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, 14 to 15 is, is still keeping it pretty, pretty light. So anyway, I don't think I'll be talking in my hammock tonight because, you know, I've got a lot of people camped around me. Uh, there's another hammocker who's sharing a tree with me. So, um, yeah, I hope he gets used to the sound of somebody peeing in a bottle all night and then dumping it. So, um, yeah, yeah. All right, well, that's it for tonight. I'm going to edit this and put these two together and hopefully get it out here next time I'm in service. Hopefully I'll find some service too soon because I'd really like to um, call my daughter and uh, FaceTime with her. So, all right. See you.